The market for connected health just got a little more crowded. Google's Life Sciences Group is working on a health tracking wristband that could be used in clinical trials and drug tests. The device is still in its experimental phase, but it would be able to measure pulse, heart rhythm, and skin temperature. Google is saying it won't be marketed as a consumer device, but the announcement still raises questions about Fitbit's sustainable advantage against bigger players like Apple and now Google. Scarlet Food joins me now with more technology taking another twist here. It is, but the difference here is that Google says the plan is uh, for doctors to prescribe this device to patients because the consumer devices like the Fitbit, like the Apple Watch, aren't rigorous enough for research. So lack of rigor is one thing, but one thing I noticed, I had a jawbone band a couple years ago, was that there's a lot of information as it, and it misread of it. It misread the information a lot of the times. So, um, Mohammed El Arian, who is also a recent, recent convert to the Fitbit, wrote about this in the Bloomberg View. And I loved his quote. He said, I have no idea how I am supposed to internalize all these data points. I find myself pursuing multiple objectives that are highly correlated, but frustratingly not linear, insufficiently linear, adding to the potential for performance anxiety. What's the point of a device if you can't put together how to use that information. Okay, but then the question is, are you supposed to do that or is your doctor supposed to do that? Because with this Google device, they're saying that is continuous information that a doctor can then monitor and then you and your doctor, your medical provider, can figure out what the best course of action right. is. Right, the Google device is for the doctor to be able to track you and to also for you to participate in different trial, clinical trials. But for these retail devices, these consumer devices, the Fitbit, you're stuck trying to figure out uh, how much active daily minutes you have versus how many steps you took versus how many calories you reportedly burned when it accurately gauges all of that. So it's a little bit of a balance there. Wow, I, I love Muhammad's quote. That's, uh, that's the economist in him. It's Absolutely. Not, not linear enough.